<laughs> so I guess uh, this might actually be a uh, um, uh, quantitative question that uh, is masquerading as a qualitative question because it doesn't involve any numbers. But I think in trying to answer it, it does help if you uh, think more quantitatively. And in the hints, I think I get at that, you know, subsection describes the density of scope materials. And um, so let me um, get the key expression that you that you need from the section, which is the the relationship between mass, volume, and density. There should be a definition of density somewhere in the section here. Um, yeah, mass, volume, and density. And does it not have, okay. Um, well, so it says density is the mass divided by the volume. Let me uh, write that. I want to write it in the fraction form so that it's more graphical. So, um, so what we want to keep referring to is this is relationship that when you have a density of something, that's gonna be mass of that thing divided by volume of that thing. So all these questions they ask you, um, oh, let me hide the hint so that it lines up the way I want it to. Um, okay, so all these questions, um, I want to highlight it's uh, all trying to get at um, what has more mass, volume, or density. And for some of these questions, actually, if you just read the question carefully, you can get the answer right away. So like the first question here, it's asking which has more mass and the amount of things that are specified are already specified in terms of mass. Kilogram is a unit of mass. So a kilogram of feathers or a kilogram of lead, they both have a kilogram. So neither, they are both equal. Uh, and uh, there are other uh, statements like that where it, uh, uh, we don't need to do any calculation. We just need to read it carefully. So here, um, it's, so the second one, I can't do it that way. So I need to move on to the next one where it's asking about which has more volume and it's uh, specifying the amount in terms of volume, like an armful that would have uh, given the same pair of arms, you would grab the same amount, uh, armful of feathers or armful of lead. Uh, you can't quite lift, I can't quite lift an armful of lead, but you know, if uh, there's a pile of lead and I'm hugging it, then <laughs> I'd hug the same amount of lead as I could uh, hug amount of feather. So. So this is another one of those where it's basically the same amount when you measure the volume. And let's see here. And density is a, a tricky one. So let me come back to that density later. And um, yeah, and which is more volume and then it's specified in terms of the mass. So uh, let me highlight this to, um, to answer these two, I need a correct mathematical expression, which has more mass. I need some sort of mathematical expression, which has more volume. I also need some sort of mathematical expression. Now, um, to answer these two questions, I don't actually need um, mathematical expressions because it's asking which has higher density and if you remember from the section that the hint points you at, a density is a property of material. It doesn't matter how much material, it doesn't matter um, how much of the thing you have, what matters is the thing that you have. So what matters is uh, what's the thing that you have? Is it feathers or is it lead? So when you're comparing feathers to feathers, 
they're gonna have the same density no matter how much material, how much feather there is in what, whatever measure. So this is gonna be C. And here is where it's asking which is higher density. And again, it doesn't quite matter how, so here the way it's specified, you have the same mass of feather and lead, but that's not what's important. It's that you are comparing density of a feather to density of lead. And feather is less dense. Uh, I think it's less dense than water. Uh, lead is more dense, uh, more dense than water. <laughs> and it, it doesn't matter how much of it you have. It, so uh, regardless of what these statements were, you would say lead has higher density than feather. Uh, so let me say B. So, so for these two uh, statements to evaluate those, I need correct mathematical <laughs> expression. Um, so I'm being asked for both mass and value, which means, all right, I gotta do a little bit of algebra, so let me do that. I have this expression here, density is equal to mass per volume. So I can rewrite this to get an expression for mass. Um, so mass, is um, multi I, doing the algebra in my head, multiplying both sides by volume. Uh, so, so two in order to get mass by itself. Then on the other side, I have a density times volume. So amount of mass is gonna be density times volume. And um, I need an expression that involves, that solved for volume. So uh, volume is, so to get the volume on the numerator, I have to multiply both sides by volume. Imagine doing that. On this side, it cancels out. And on the left-hand side, I have volume and density. I don't want density. Um, so I want volume by itself. So I have to imagine uh, multiplying both sides by one over density that'll get rid of density on this side. I'll get density on this side. So I have mass per density. So the volume is going to be uh, amount of mass per density. So that's the little bit of algebra you need. Once you have that, then let's try to answer these questions, which has more mass. Um, so I'm looking at this expression here. Uh, one that gives me idea of how much mass there is. And I have an armful of one thing and armful of the other. So I'm setting this up so that they both have the same amount of volume. So since they have the same volume, whichever one has more is more dense is going to have more mass. So armful of lead, which lead, which is more dense, will have more mass if I have the same amount of volume. So this should be B. And finally, which has more volume, a kilogram of feathers or a kilogram of lead. So I'm looking at this expression for comparing, uh, getting an expression for volume. And so I'm looking at a kilogram of both kind of things. So I'm keeping the mass the same. So since the density is in the denominator, if I have a small density, that means for the same mass, the volume is actually greater and um, vice versa. If the density is greater then for the same mass, volume is smaller. So looking at that, um, yeah, so, so um, a kilogram of feathers should take up more volume since the feather has less density. Um, and I think you can also imagine, you know, kilogram of feathers that's like a, whole pillowcase full of it. And if you ever seen a block of lead, like a relatively small block will uh, be a kilogram. So a uh, feather should have more volume. So that's it. This is a fairly long question <laughs> I'm working through because it's a, a quantitative question. Masquerading is qualitative question. Let me submit this uh, and see that the answer is correct. Let me think it's gonna clear all these and submit and yeah for a lot of work it's just one point